Okay, this is a short, quick tutorial to make sure you're setting the pressure on your JetPress 12 or JetPress 14 correctly. We'll start with the JP12, which is the smaller hobby press. Uh, basically, when you close this press, you do not just let it sit. We want to make sure it has a ka-thunk feel. So if you see that clamping, snapping, you see the post bend back a little bit, that is the kind of feel you want. Um, when it first arrives, it might be very light, so if you can close it very easily with just two fingers and it's not really locking in place firmly, um, you want to make sure this is touching the rubber pad, and then what you can do is you keep turning the knob until this is pointing up maybe about 30 to 40 degrees then you'll have a nice firm pressure. So this wants to be pointing up almost at a 45 degree angle while the platen is touching the pad and you have a clamping. I, there's no need for any further pressure or heavier pressure than that. That's pretty firm, heavy clamping pressure and it should stay locked in place. Uh, obviously if you have something much thicker you're going to turn this counterclockwise to raise the head up. Right now it has no pressure, but if you have a much thicker item in there, it'll clamp. So, bottom line, turn this to the right to lower the platen. Turn this lefty-loosey to raise the platen. And you want to set it so that you have a good two-handed clamping force. The same is true of the JP14, just a much, much bigger frame. On this one, to set the proper pressure, we recommend that this clamp just be pointed just about straight forward, just a little bit upwards. So this clamp is pointing straight forward, maybe a little upwards, while the platen is touching the pad, and that gives you a good clamping pressure. If you are closing it and it's very easy to close, and it's not really locking much at all, you want to turn this to the right, just like on the JP12, righty tighty give you heavier pressure. If you are not able to close it and it's just too high and it's way too hard to close, you have to turn this to the left and raise the head up. Same as the JP12. So turning it to the left will raise the head up so you can get proper pressure. If it's up too high, it just won't lock at all. It'll just kind of sit there and so you have to bring the head back down. Oftentimes customers will bring the head so far down that it won't even lock anymore. Uh, so you want to make sure that that's correct. Um, and we'll go from there.